intermittent fasting does not burn fat. I'm doing this video because I was in a Facebook group yesterday looking at questions that people have and comments that people make. And one guy wanted some help losing weight. And one of the first comments was start intermittent fasting to get into a caloric deficit. And that is stupid, it's wrong, and it doesn't make sense. Okay, intermittent fasting does not put you into a caloric deficit. A caloric deficit puts you into a caloric deficit. Now, for those of you who don't know what it is, intermittent fasting is something I don't agree with. If it works for you, fine. But what it basically means is you extend the amount of time you don't eat and you eat for a shorter amount of time. So most people sleep eight hours and they're awake for 16 hours. That means they fast, they don't eat for the eight hours they're sleeping, and they eat their meals in the 16 hours that they're awake. Intermittent fasting means you extend the time that you do not eat. So a lot of people do 16-8. They'll sleep for eight hours, wake up, will not eat for the first eight hours they're awake. So now they fasted between sleeping and the first eight hours they've been awake. They fasted 16 hours and they eat all their meals in the last eight hours. Okay, some people will do 24 Okay, they'll go 20 hours with no food and they'll eat all of their meals within four hours. Now, the idea is that if you don't eat the breakfast and lunch and whatever, if you eat in a smaller amount of time, you won't eat as much. But that does not work for everyone, okay? Because the fact of the matter is, first of all, a lot of people don't handle intermittent fasting, okay? You know, they'll go ahead and they'll, you know, go for a few hours. If you're in a caloric deficit, you're gonna wake up hungry. If you wake up and you're not hungry, you're not in a caloric deficit, all right? So don't say you're not gonna be hungry when you wake up. If you're in a caloric deficit, you will wake up hungry. So you wake up, you're hungry, and then you wanna go eight, 10, however many hours without eating anything a lot of people are gonna fall off. A lot of people are gonna be like, screw this, and they're gonna cheat other diet by eating. Okay, now I know you're gonna say, well, that's not being in a, you know, it, that's not intermittent fasting if you eat outside of your window. It's true, but you wouldn't have blown your diet if you didn't try to intermittent fast. But let's say you do do intermittent fasting properly, okay? You know, I got fat as fuck doing intermittent fasting. I didn't call it intermittent fasting, I called it just eating unhealthy. Uh, there was a time when I was living in Germany when I was running MMA events. Okay, I've spoken about this before. I was like doing all of my own web design, my own graphics, my own marketing. You know, I had to find my own referees. We didn't have a sports commission, so I had to find my referees and make sure they were straight on the rules. You know, my judges, I had to get the fighters myself. I had to book flights. I had to you know, do all the marketing, all the organization, everything myself. I worked my ass off. I loved it, but I worked my ass off and I did intermittent fasting. I did not eat shit all day and I ate basically one meal a day. What did I do? Well, I didn't have time all day to eat, so... I suddenly had time at night to drive from the village I was living into into the next village, which was like a half hour drive one way because they had a Burger King, okay? I got something called the Extra Long Chili Cheese, which apparently only exists in the Burger Kings in Austria and in Germany. It's like a long submarine sandwich bread with like three hamburger patties on it, bacon, cheese, and jalapenos. Of course, I also got double cheese and double bacon, then they had these awesome little uh, cheese balls. They were like chili cheese balls or something. They were kind of like little balls of cheese with like a jalapeno inside. And it was kind of like hard at the outside, like a mozzarella stick. And I was living alone, eating alone. So of course I got a family pack for me alone. Then I had like a giant shake, okay? Because I had it as a menu, as a meal. So I had a giant drink, which I was a shake, a you know, strawberry shake. Then it just so happened that there was a gas station that kind of shared the parking lot with the, you know, with the Burger King. So I would go over into the gas station. I'd get myself a six pack of something called cola beer. For the people who aren't German or haven't lived in Germany, cola beer is like mixing beer and cola, okay, or different types of soda. Okay, so it's like, you know, beer, but it has more sugar and more calories than normal beer. So that was me intermittent fasting. I didn't eat horse shit all day, not a goddamn thing all fucking day. And then at night I was fucking starving. Your body needs salt, sugar, and fat, okay? You know, those are like what your body craves because that will keep your body, it will keep you from dying. So your body craves salt, sugar, and fat. Why do you think that so many fucking junk food items are salt, sugar, and fat, or at least two of the three, okay? because that's what your body craves. So I was starving after this fucking, you know, 
after these, you know, however many hours, I was probably doing like, you know, uh, 23, one intermittent fasting, you know, starving myself for 23 hours and eating one meal. Okay. But that one meal had a shit ton of calories because I was starving because I didn't eat shit all day. So what I'm basically saying here is, you know, if you're in a caloric deficit, you're eating fewer calories than you're burning. Maybe doing intermittent fasting helps, but it doesn't necessarily mean just because you're eating one meal. I mean, if you have a caloric maintenance of 2,000 calories a day, you will not gain or lose weight if you eat 2,000 calories a day. And if you do intermittent fasting and you eat 4,000 calories inside of this little window of time, you're eating double your caloric requirements. You're eating double your caloric maintenance. You're eating twice as many calories as you should be eating. So just don't think like, oh, well, get on intermittent fasting and you'll get automatically into a caloric deficit. That's the dumbest horse shit that I've ever fucking heard of. Now, I know it works for a lot of people. Well, oh, I just eat two meals a day and I'm fine. Well, guess what? There are also people that eat from morning until night and they're fine. They can eat like one or two cookies, have like a beer or just a couple sips of beer. They can go one time a day to McDonald's, you know, and they could still fucking be ripped because they don't like, they just don't eat a lot. I'm the kind of person, you know, that if I start eating fucking carbs or starting food, I'll eat a ton of it. Okay. You know, there are alcoholics out there. If they have one beer, they're going to have a case of beer. There are, you know, it, I'm one of those people where if I'm starving, I'm going to fucking just eat a ton of food unless I'm counting my calories. So like I said, you know, there are also, just like there are people who intermittent fast, they eat a couple meals, two, two meals a day, whatever, and they lose weight. There are also people that eat from morning until night and they lose weight because they just happen to eat within their caloric maintenance, okay? So what I'm basically saying here is intermittent fasting does not automatically put you in a caloric deficit, okay? You still need to be mindful of how many calories you burn and how many calories you consume. And whether it's one meal or 10 meals or 100 meals or if you just eat, you know, constantly eat from morning until night, however many or however few meals you eat, if you eat fewer calories than you're burning, you will lose weight. If you eat more, you will gain weight. And like I said, caloric uh, intermittent fasting does not automatically put you in a caloric deficit. Anyway, there are a million reasons why I'm against intermittent fasting. Um, I'm not even going to get into them right here. But what I am going to say is if it works for you, fine. I've never told any of my training clients not to do it, but... A lot of them have switched over from intermittent fasting to eating normally, meaning several times a day, and they've gotten better results, especially when it comes to building muscle. Um, if you guys are interested in the things that I actually do believe in, that I have actually proven myself and on my clients to work, go ahead and check out my low-carb cutting and bulking uh, program. It's uh, a link in the description below. It covers everything you need to get fat adapted, determine your goal body weight, whether you should cut or bulk, the cutting program, the bulking program, plus how to transition out of the cutting program into maintenance calories or how to transition from the cutting program to maintenance calories to a bulk, okay? So you don't have the yo-yo effect where you drop a lot of weight and then you get fat again. Anyway, check it out. Low carb cutting and bulking, link in the description below. Aside from that, thanks for watching the video. Be mindful of your calories, even if you use intermittent fasting because it does not automatically put you in a caloric deficit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys in the next video.